Right, good morning everyone. Now, um, I've got a few bits and pieces that I want to get done today, so really what I'm going to be doing is making a wall hanging at the moment. So I'm just going to be putting my uh, bits and pieces that I have here to one side. I do have some ready-made flowers that I made a while ago that I um, with chiffon, beautiful lace, the beaded trims that I make. And the, I've shown you how to do these, they, they are dead simple and we sell the plate at the back. Um, it's perforated, if you go on the shop and look for perforated, you'll see the little um, clip or the little brooch pin that goes on, you know, you can put your beads on and then pop them onto something. But I do have a video showing you how to do those. I've shown you how to do these and all the other bits and pieces. We have some really nice things that we can create with. And I, I've shown you how to do these. They're dead simple. So look for flower videos. And if you put flower or flowers in, in the description box, the videos will come up where I've shown you how to make. But there's hundreds of them. You just have to search through until you see the one you like. But those, these particular ones I generally do from gross grain. So if you put gross grain flour. Now I've got this material that I can cut up um, if I want. Or that trim. I'm just going to pop it to one side. I've also got things like this ribbon. Um, which I love to use. For making bows and, you know, bits and pieces like that. I'm just going to put that there. Fasten that on. Sorry, I got black on me last night and I couldn't get... I've been trying desperately to get it off. <laughs> it's a black paint. It doesn't come off very... Oh, that does. Got that off. I have washed my hands. We've got some doilies. Some scraps of uh, fabric that needs using up. Um, Jane, I found that. So I might be able to make a flower out of that love for you somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. Here's some more flowers and trims that I've done. They're just little flowers. But you can decorate them up and they can come in handy. Now, what I've got is... Oh, no, I'm not using that. Or do I want to use that? I wanted to a little bit... Now I know what I'm going to do. Hang on. Here's the wadding. I think we can get this to fit. Put that there. Move that over there. And the first thing I need to do is to add this to that one. Perfect. So hopefully my glue gun will work today. Because we did have trouble with it yesterday. And all I need to do is to pop on a little bit of glue here and there and we'll move them out of the way and we we'll just make that fit. I'm doing it a little bit away from the edge so that when I put the fabric on um, it covers the, all of the edge if you know what I mean. Like that, that'll do. Don't waste those. What we do with those is we shred them and we use them for stuffing. Put that one up there. So now we've got that. That's going to be great. doesn't matter about the hole in the middle actually because I might still use that. Now please don't worry about your parcels. I know some people are panicking or they're worrying. It is Christmas. We do send them economy. So they're going to get there a little bit longer than normal. Right, I've got some of these and I think I'm going to use this one for this particular project. This is our own. And all I do is round them off. In fact, I'm just going to do it like that today. Because I think this style looks nice on a smaller project. 
See, that'll go in the, uh, here, and then we'll do a display here. But this is a hanging one. Oh, get in there. I'm going to pop you back in your little box. So, the picture's ready. Really, all I have to do now is I'm going to use the canvas to cover the disc. I know it's not straight, and I know somebody mentioned, oh, I could have ironed it before. I've got a little iron that I run over things, and... Um, Sometimes I don't want to because it's the ruggedness of the project, you know. You don't always need to do things like that. Keep all your oddments because they cover buttons and things like that. Right, so what I'm going to do, once I've got the glue off me, is when you're doing it like this, push that down and then you can pull that over. So in order to do that, I need to snip it. All the excess can be cut off. Now, Patreons, I'm doing a video this week that's just for you. It's not for anybody else to see. And, um, you know, for everybody else, please do remember that um, we are open all year round, 365 days of the year. My shop never closes. I haven't put my prices up like everybody else has. I'm probably one of the only shops that hasn't. We do use economy shipping so we can ship worldwide at a very good price. So if you, uh, you know, I often get asked, well, shipping's too much to America. Most of my clients, uh, or clients, should I say, most of my customers are Americans. And I've had customers, I've been going 11 years. 11 years. <clears throat> so that tells you something, doesn't it? If I've been going 11 years. Now, I'm going to do, I've done two there, I'm going to do two the opposite side. Pull it right down. Pull that flap over like that. And then pull that one inwards, but push it that way so it brings that corner, uh, brings the edge in neat here. And then we're going to do two this side. like that so again pull it in and then you pull that one over that one which gives you that curvature and you don't need an iron <laughs> it pulls it out straight and it'll finish it off so now what we do is middle and then the ends
and that final piece can go like that and there you go not a crease in it <sighs> so now all I've got to do is to cut these trimmings off I think we've only got six pair of these six pairs of these scissors left so if you want them grab them and they are some of the best we've had fantastic feedback on them and uh, the great size for people with bad hands they can feel heavy to start with but once you get used to them they're fine there we go brilliant thrilled with that now what I've got is this white trim and like I say we've got all of these trims in the shop um, hang on a minute I'm gonna do this first no I don't <laughs> There, that's the whole point of everything, isn't it? Because I'm going to do this. I love this trim. Just beautiful, beautiful trim. Make sure I get this the right way. That's it. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. And as it has to go over there like that, I want to get the flowers in. And we just, where you get blathered in, um glue <laughs> but who cares let's do that the back will be covered anyway now let me just get this straight we can stretch that out once it's on just glue that down that's it and then what I do is I just pull that out and we can pull it and glue it and then we just stick that bit down like that it just helps to cover it slightly this doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that <coughs> excuse me don't think I need to cover that but I'm going to and there you go isn't that gorgeous and then what we do is I'm going to choose it that way. No, I like that way actually. Do I? No, I like that. So I'm just going to put this on first. So we glue that on first. I'm going to put that there. Yeah. And I'm going to put a display here. And let's have a look, see what we've got. <clears throat> oh, by the way, folks, sorry. Um, Catherine Seaman, I think it is, sent me these. She makes them. Look at them. The birds. Aren't they beautiful? Made from foil. And she's made me a whole batch of them. They're just gorgeous. I can hang on the tree. So thank you for those, Catherine. I kept meaning to show them and I kept forgetting. So, Right, let's have a look, see what flowers we've got. Now, obviously I want cream and pink. Cream. All different ones. With a different variety so we can uh, mix and match. Oh, and I've got one of those. A couple of those. Some white. Oh, white and pink there. So they're just fancy doilies that I came across. And I use these for leaves. And I have no problems cutting them up. Put that to one side. These are the blue scissors. So these are what we sell. And I would be lost without mine, I'll tell you that now, because I absolutely love them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do the display from here and build upwards for a change. So I hope you're seeing what I'm doing.
Oh, gorgeous. And we need to do the same on this side, like that. Now, see how that's encased? That, and I just want a couple of bits up here. I'm going to go back for these. Let's have a look. Just need to take it up a notch. Under there, poking out there like that. That's it, and it's got the height I want there on the ends. Like that. Just bring that up a little bit. Pull that down. Yeah, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's have a look. And now I've got to edge it, so I'm just going to put these away. These flowers I don't need. Oh, I don't know if I want them. Oh, I might keep that out a minute. Let me just use these, put these away. There we go. I know. <laughs> it's just me. Um, let me just see. I'm like that, you see. I've got to see things. Do I want that? I do like it, but I'm going to have to shape it, I think. So, we just pop that underneath there. That's it, that'll do. It just extends that a little bit up here. See, like, just... There, that's it. Yeah, that's fine. Now I need to hang something from here, so I'm going to go into my tassel tub, because I make my own tassels to play around with. Look, just happen to have a white one there, or a nice beaded one. Let's have a look at what we... Oh God, I've got that one. Oh, wait a minute, because I've got that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, okay. No, not that. I might use that. See, I make these up. Might use that one. And um, pop them in my drawer. And then when I'm ready for them, I've got some ready made. I don't always use them. Let's have a look. Got that one. That one. I make, you know, single ones, double ones, layered ones, tasseled ones. Right, okay, I don't want that. Do I want that? That's two bits. Okay. Let's just make something out of what we've got. So I've got that one, which I do like and would look gorgeous because it's got pink in. I've got that one I've made. Or I've got a little one, which is, it looks out of place actually, so I'm um, not going to use that one. Oh, I just thought of something though. I could use that somewhere else. I've got this long tasseled one, which I love. Hmm. There's this one I can clip to use a single one they've got like a rose bead on on that particular one and I like that so that can go back in there uh, now I do have some of this I've got it in different shades of pink, but I like this particular one. Like I said, this is for sale if anyone's interested. Oh, 
Let me just see. That's it. That's what I'm after. And I can cut that down. Must do that to glue that together. <coughs> hmm, might keep it like that. I'm going to add this here first. Like that, because I like that. And you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and add this. Um, let me just trim that off. Burnish the end. And I'm going to add that in there. Like that. Like that. Oh, yes. Made the right choice. Beautiful. But then, I just want something that will hang here. I think I'm going to go with that. I am. I've just put in a little beaded thing there and then to that we add a small pink flower and I've got a little a little rose which takes the pink up there like that and they were all handmade now while I'm putting it on I'm also going to be gathering it because I want it to lay really flat yeah like that so just pinching it as I go along. So we put it on the edge. Keep checking that we've got it in place. You don't want this showing on that side. Now we say wrap it round and give it a good pinch at the same time. See, we don't want that showing there. See, like that. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Now, if this sells when you go to the shop, then I can make you another one. You know, I do have the material to make you one, so you can always request one from me. And then really look nice for gifts for Mother's Day, Christmas. You know, just to hang on a bedroom wall somewhere or a living room, wherever you want to put them. They really do look pretty. So, I do take orders if you want one making, but um, I would have to request the money up front uh, because some people have let me down before today and it's a lot of work and materials to use up for them to say no. So I'd have to have your payment up front, then I'll sit and make it for you and then send it on. Um, it obviously depends how much material is used to the price, my time, which I don't charge fully for. As you know, we'd never sell anything if we did that. Um, and I can make these in blues, you know, like powder blue and colours like that. We've got uh, powder blue, pinks, cream, whites, pink, uh, mixed white and pink and cream and pink. Whatever it is you need. But like I say. Let's make sure that's right. And then we just snip those two together. That's... Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And 
it. Like I say, everything's handmade apart from some of the flowers. So I hope you like that. I'm going to put the backing on now. And I usually just use beading if I can. Now we'll use the ribbon to match, I think, today. So let's have a look. Yeah, you don't need a too long a thing on it. <coughs> and then, like I say, I'm going to put the backing on it. Um, I think I've got some felt. Here we are. Add some felt on your head a bit. Hopefully it'll fit. <laughs> I can cut that round once it's on. That'll do. I just need to trim it round once it's on. Oh, that was close. Thought I'd cut them off then. They've been a bit of a disaster. That'll do. That's fine. You're not going to see the back and it's all in good condition. Not pretty. Well, that's it. Let's have a look. There you go. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.